I will start my operations here, and pull the rebels apart piece by piece. They will be the architects of their own destruction. Mitterthrona Ruodo en route to provide supplies to Terralov, a squadron of a wings and a transport were attacked by an Imperial Arquitans class command cruiser that dispatched three TIE interceptors led by Captain Volt Skeris, which quickly wiped out the rebel convoy. Reeling from this loss, the Phoenix rebels dispatched the former Imperial cadet Sabine Wren to infiltrate the Sky Strike Academy to extract the disillusioned cadets Wedge Antilles, Hobby, and Rake Gari, in which the rebel and defectors would be able to escape from the Empire's grip. Later, the rebels, along with the Free Ryloth movement led by Kam Sundula, went on a mission to Ryloth, where they learned that Thrawn, who had studied the tactics used by the rebellion and now had direct command of Imperial forces, had made military advances led by Captain Slaven in the Tan province. The Spectres undertook a supply run to the Agamar to obtain proton bombs from a separatist transport ship. However, they were captured by a separatist holdout led by the super tactical droid General Kalani. The droid general wished to end the Clone Wars on his own terms, and challenged the rebels to a battle that would decide the victors, but Imperial forces suddenly arrived and attacked the Separatist ship. The rebels and Separatists came to the conclusion that the Empire was the real victor of the Clone Wars, and decided to unite in order to escape the Empire. While the Imperial Viceroy, Gar Saxon, discovered that the rebels were using the Concord Dawn system to avoid Imperial sector patrols. Saxon destroyed the Protector's encampment on the third moon of Concord Dawn in an attempt to lure Fen Rao back. The Empire had planned to impose martial law on the planet Mykopo which rebels made efforts to evacuate rebel sympathizers. Upon arriving, the flotilla encountered a light freighter, which was engaged in a dogfight with an Imperial advance patrol calling themselves the Iron Squadron. Thrawn, who was aware of this rebel presence in the system, dispatched a light cruiser to assess the situation, placed under the command of Admiral Cassius Constantine in order to test the officer's questionable capabilities. The Admiral was successful in crippling the Iron Squadron's freighter, prompting the crew with the exception of Matten to escape aboard the Phantom II with the Spectres. The rebels returned with reinforcements from Phoenix Squadron to rescue Matten. During the skirmish, Constantine's cruiser was badly damaged, and most of his forces were destroyed. The rebels fled into light speed just as the Chimera arrived in the system. Soon after, the rebels returned to Lothal and began an infiltration of the Imperial Armory complex to obtain the blueprints for a prototype TIE fighter. However, their mission coincided with a visit by Grand Admiral Thrawn on behalf of Imperial High Command, who was investigating the high rate of sabotage within the factory. The rebels, however, escaped the factory with sensitive Imperial information with the help of the now disillusioned agent Kalus, who had become an informant for the rebellion. As a result of this rebel attack, Thrawn realized that the Empire had a traitor among their ranks. Following this, there was an increase of the Imperial Navy presence such as capital ships in and around Lothal as part of Imperial orbital defenses. Beyond the Lothal system, Rebellious activities increased such as on Geonosis where Captain Brunson responded to a triggered proximity sensor and discovered the Spectre's vessel ghost on the planet who had saved both Saw Gerrera after his partisan scout team were killed. Hoping to earn herself and her crew promotions, she attempted to destroy the rebels using TIE bombers, rocket troopers, and finally by trapping the rebels in an underground cavern in attempt to bury them alive. When she used her cruiser to block their escape, this backfired as the Ghost fired two proton torpedoes resulting in the destruction of her ship with the rebels who were able to recover images of the poison canisters that were used for the sterilization of Geonosis in order to show the Imperial Senate and rally more systems to their cause. Thrawn later dispatched several EXD series infiltrator droids to search the outer rim for rebel bases. However, Kalus used the rebel identity Fulcrum to warn the base's chief of security Garazeb Aurelios about the threat. As a result, he and his fellow rebels Chopper and Ap-5 managed to stop the infiltrated droid EXD-9 from infiltrating the rebel base on Atollan. They then turned EXD-9 into an improvised bomb that destroyed a Star Destroyer. Despite their efforts, Thrawn was able to narrow the search for the rebel base to 94 systems. The Empire lost a local ally in the form of Viceroy Gar Saxon, the Emperor's hand and puppet ruler of Mandalore. Gar Saxon was defeated during a duel with the rebel Sabine Wren on the planet of Cronest. Saxon's death triggered a power vacuum among the Mandalorians. Sabine then joined forces with her mother, Ursa Wren, 
and the former Protector's leader Fen Rao to reunify the Mandalorians. With the help of Imperial Security Bureau Colonel Wolf Yularen, a veteran of the Clone Wars. Thrawn summoned several Imperial officials including Agent Kalus, Lieutenant Yoga Lister, Captain Brunson, and Commander Brom Titus for questioning aboard his flagship Chimera. After learning that Thrawn was intercepting Kallus's transmissions, the Spectres and Rex mounted a mission to rescue Kallus. During the course of the mission, Kallus joined forces with the Rebels to delete the planet Atollan, which hosted Chopper Base, from Thrawn's database. However, Kallus elected not to escape with the Rebels and instead framed his colleague Lister as Fulcrum. Thrawn learned of Kallus's deception but kept this information secret since he hoped to manipulate Kallus into uncovering the Phoenix Rebel base.